Hello everyone, today we will continue with the bed. First I will start with the PI and the spring shield. Basically I will put the PI on the spring steel. So first I will clean it with isopropyl alcohol. I will use my heat gun to get rid of the remaining isopropyl alcohol if there is and get rid of the particle of the tissue. Like I said I get the spring steel from the Fermio and also PI so it's, they are sending the bigger PI that means we don't need to be precise on the corners to fit it we will just stick approximately and later on we will get rid of the excess but the method is same just peel off a little bit Try not to touch the sticky part, sticky sides. Actually, I will align the, this part with that because I don't want to go over with the logo and the, these handles. So, on the left or right, we have excess. Stick the middle part first, then go to to sides. It will continue like that. Just peel a little bit and try not to touch sticky part and uh, your spring steel. And stick first the middle part and go left and right. It will go on like that. So I will complete it now. Now. I will put a magnetic sheet on the bed, so same thing, first clean it, so by the way this is the top part, you, if you see there is a bigger half weight holes to, for the screw heads, so we need to put the magnet sheet on the top, so clean the top surface. And heat gun. Same story, this is wider and longer. And again, peel. Yeah, everything's the same. Just peel a bit, stick in the part, and go left and right. Uh, later on we will cut these excess parts like I said by the way be careful about the, your magnetic sheet if there is something on it a little bit like a dust like a piece of filament and when you if you put your spring steel on it it will sque squeeze between the magnetic sheet and spring steel and it will deform your magnetic sheet so uh, be sure that your magnetic sheet is clean Let's see. And I'll also no. at last we will put our silicone heater. So there's an orientation for heater. Be careful about that. So where the these two holes or these two ho holes are back side. That means the cable should match with this, so it should place like this. Yeah, also you can arrange with the whole spaces on the silicone heater. So first clean. Now our bed is 300 by 300 and our silicone heater is 290 by 290. So that means we need to give five millimeter space in each side so perfect our bed is also finished now now we need to put this under a load and wait 24 hours to stick it better so for that again i will use this fabrics 
protect the, the thermistor and the cable connection. So basically I will create a, another height in here. Approximately, approximately in this height. What I'm doing previously I also done like that. I will put one one wood on underneath and one wood on top and I will put the uh, little garden rocks which is heavy and I will wait 24 hours to cure so I'll see you in tomorrow after waiting 24 hours later my PI is stick to spring steel and magnetic sheet and the silicone heat mat is stick to aluminum bed like I mentioned before the magnetic sheet and the PI is longer and wider what you need so what I did, I cut the excess the knife. While you are doing that, you need this corner, the edge part. So if you don't know, you can use the back side. And if you see there is a line on the knife. And there is a sliding part for the back side. If you slide it and give a little bit while the rem removable part is near to this part rigid part if you give a little force it will break and you will have sharp edge and with that sharp edge i just follow the size of the aluminum bed while i'm cutting the magnetic sheet for this i follow the steel part the sides have clean cuts although i don't have the skill for these jobs but yeah, I did a good job, I think. And after that, I also created holes on the magnetic sheet for the bed mount, these. So for that, first I use M3 or M35, 3.5. First, I just put the drill bit on the back side and use the tissue or something because this can hurt you. And I manually, basically manually drill the magnetic sheet. Once the drill bit is cut the magnetic sheet, this time I used M5.5 from here to create a bigger hole for the head. So with that, since with M3 I know where it's located exactly, so I can just extend the hole with M5.5. I repeated these steps for each three holes, which you can see now our screw is nicely fitting in its plates and of course after that clean your magnetic sheet because any particle can cause a deformation on it after putting the spring steel on it remember to clean it now i just need to add earth connection and thermal fuse after that we can put this bed on the printer so let's do that we will continue with the bed frame for that we need this two frames which we put together earlier and we need 3d printed parts and ge 5c bearings and also nuts and m3 by 6 screw so first of all i will put the uh, nuts as described in the manual so here we will need m5 and m3 so we will put one m3 and in this orientation so the the hole will look the outer side and we will put two m5 same direction here again one m3 there's the holes looking the outer side and two m5 yeah for the m5 one of them will be placed like this the last one will be placed like this so the orientation will be like this for the left part it's a, like a mirror of the right part 1m3 and 2m5 so also while you are looking at the frame like this you need 2m5 I'm sorry 2m3 also in here so the orientation will be like this the hole will be the side of the other frame for both yeah 
yes later while we are putting the other pieces we will arrange the position of the nuts for now they will stay like this and for the printed parts we will place these bearings inside this hole with m3 by 6 we will secure them so it's like that so these are the these screws are threading the plastic part so and it's only holding in position bearing so don't over tighten this i'm basically just putting flush screw on the plastic part that's all and now it's secure and the the purpose of this bearing so it will give us this pivot point i will do same for other uh, two parts now we will place these three different parts on our bed frame so it's on the manual it's showing the orientation but yeah so this flattish part will be positioned in here and this one here and this one will be here let's get the screws we need and five by ten Printed parts already slot for the frame, so you are basically putting your frame in here and uh, adjust the position of the M5 nuts. With M5 by 10, you will secure it. I'm not tightening this, I am securing the position. We'll do the same thing in the corners. Again, you have slots, so I will make the flush with the printed parts of the frame with the M5516 we will secure the two pieces together I mean this frame to that frame so I will need three of them as you can see I put my bed frame in here basically we are putting this M5516 screw and the underneath and underneath there is a M5 nut in here so with two it's holding these two pieces together and our bed frame will be mounted in our main frame with that so i didn't tighten this one i just took the empty part of the screw and these m3 nuts for our bed normally we are putting a curved nut in here m5 curved nut and with the m3 screw we are putting our aluminium bed on the bed frame but right now i will not put it because we will do the wiring and for other things we need to turn around the printer etc so it will aid it will add weight we don't need it right now at last i will put my bed on the my printer frame so for now i will keep it like this too and also we need to loosen these screws this one and these two and shake our frame a bit and tighten it to find the home position for our the bed frame but for that uh, i will wait um, my printer working because i will do this operation once the bed is leveled and after that i will loosen these two screws and shake a bit shake a frame a bit then after that i will tighten these yeah, that's all for now so for our z and stuff we need our 3d printed part and pulley the the top cap should be removed this one is set like that and this part will be the the switch will be sitting here and if you want you can directly put the cable on the legs but i will use jst connector for that first i will stick this one i will glue this one in here this two leg will be soldered the connector and that's all basically to use the normal closed uh, normal closed legs i'm using the this let me do that and be right back we need to also use a five millimeter pin so basically nozzle is pressing that and tapping that and sending a signal says it's really strong so normally by the way i will create a flat surface in here and with the screw i will since it's moving freely 
I will trap this pin, it will move, for example, just a small distance, just enough to press the button, so it will not fall once I'm doing something on my printer, like maintenance or something. For now, I will skip that, and let's test the connector. It's not the best, but it will work. Since I'm planning to re reprint the parts and reassemble the printer, I'm not fully focusing the cosmetic part, so... Our Z10 step is ready. I have also installed my bed on my printer. So as you can see the cables are front unfortunately. Because the since I'm using Kino uh, one, it's designed actually in back for the V uh, V1. So in V1 it was I think the two screws were in the back. But in the 3 dent design the two, two screws are on front. There is only one way to put the Kinova bed from the firmware and unfortunately cables are coming on the front and like with the Vago I put the thermistor and to mount the bed we are using M4 curled nut and with the M3 and 3 points in the one on the back we are securing our bed in the printer but at the moment as you can see the screws are just holding the bed. They are not tightened because it, it is recommended the bed should be heated for one or two hours. After that, it sh we should tighten these screws and and you shouldn't torque them. Huh? You just need to take the empty space and that's all because once you heat the aluminium, it wants to expand itself a bit. And if you force it with a screw or something, it cannot expand. And that's why the corners are curling up. And this gives you the taco bed. I am planning to not tighten these screws. I will just take the empty space when once my bed is heated. And after that, I will use it like that for now. There are also kinematic bed mounts. I don't know there is a special bed mount for V1, but I know there is uh, for V2 that can be also used because they, I think you can use in the Trident also since we are using the same frame and these mounts are mounted to frame. And basically it's uh, you are putting a ball nut on the bed and ball nut is sitting in another housing which is produced for this purpose. So basically, you are not using any screw to frame, but you are using any middle part, ball nut and it's housing, and the bed is sitting in there. When the aluminum wants to expand, it can freely expand because there is no direct connection between the bed and the frame. You can also check that one, but that was all for the bed episode. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.